All right, welcome back. The Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, has announced its plan to recommence the continuous voter registration exercise on June 28 across the country. Chairman uh, Mahmoud Yakubo disclosed that the electoral umpire has set aside a direct data, data capture machine and would introduce a new device being developed by its in-house uh, software engineers. Now, discuss it with me is Festus Okoye, Chairman, Information and Voter Education Committee of INEC, and of course, I will still have a political analyst, uh, Abiemi Saka. Let us start from Abuja. Let's go to Festus Okoye. I just want you to break it down for us. Uh, from uh, the press uh, briefing uh, uh, some days ago, uh, your commission says it is uh, moving uh, to uh, voter registration equipment and technology. Specifically, it is called, uh, uh, you're moving away from the direct data capture machine and you're going into a new one, which is uh, the voter enrollment device, that's um, IVED. So can you break it down uh, to us and let us know uh, what's uh, new in all of this uh, new technology? Well, well uh, the uh, technology we intend to introduce uh, is, is integrated into the new uh, policy of the Commission relating to deepening the use of technology uh, in the electoral process. Uh, what, what we intend to do is to align our policies and programs and some of our procedures uh, to the new realities relating uh, to the uh, circumstances of uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, that has made it impossible uh, for live, live gatherings to take place. Uh, so our in-house engineers, we are building what, what, what we call a new, a new portal that will enable new registrants uh, to start a registration online and then complete uh, their registration um, at the registration centers uh, through a process of having their biometrics taken at the uh, registration centers. Uh, so, so the implication is that every other data, every other procedure will take place online, then the registrant will not go to the um, registration center and only to capture the uh, bi biometrics and then the person walks away. Uh, so the, the new enrollment device we intend to introduce, uh, we replace the direct data capture machines. And what we intend to do is to make sure that we not, not only capture the fingerprints of registrants, but okay, uh, we also capture their facials, uh, so that the facials. All right, uh, first off, I really want to understand this now. So specifically, uh, the whoever is interested in uh, going for this particular registration must start from their maybe from their phones or their devices and. Uh, they start from that level and they need to go to another center again to complete the registration or what exactly? I didn't quite get that. Exactly, that, that, is, that is the point. Okay, uh, there is how do you, how do you uh, start uh, their the registration people? online and then when they complete their registration, all right, Festus uh, Mokoya. Uh, hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. I was just going to ask, uh, how do you uh, factor in people who live in the hinterland who may not have um, access to uh, maybe uh, internet data uh, for some reason and they would actually want to get uh, registered? Are you going to completely stop the direct data capturing? All right, we'll try and reconnect with him first. Yeah, okay. I don't know if he's still there. Hello, Mr. Fester, okay. can you hear us? All right, let's talk to uh, Yemisaka. We'll see uh, how we can uh, get across to Festus Okoye uh, yet again. So far, he has been able to explain. Uh, he says, uh, whoever is interested in registering for the voter uh, exercise will have to do that from their phones. And when they are done, they have to go to a particular center and get uh, you know, the whole process completed. Uh, how do you see this new process, really? Well, I, I don't know why. I think in Nigeria, if, you, if the government agencies or institutions wants to come up with policies, they, just, they must just make it difficult or cumbersome for Nigerians. I, I don't know why I cannot do everything and even capture my face for my device. Mm. It's possible. Why do we still, why are we, why, are we, why, do, why are we so much, why are we still in this marriage with hardship? 
about getting things done. We, we, I can sit down in the comfort. You see, I can sit down at home. I love, I have a lot of um, online um, financial app mm. where Nigerians um, that for loans and what have you. You don't even leave your house to get to have an account with them. You don't even leave your house. You don't even go to one office or center to, to capture your face. How do you just, just position your phone and you just capture it? So if, if small organizations could be doing that, then why not INEC? Why do we just like, just to show that we are working, just to show that we are Nigerians, we must just put one hardship in the process. Why? Why are we so much? Are you saying this that marriage election is deliberately? Uh, no, no, because because I think it's, it's I think I think it's not I think it's 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 a, I think over time not just INEC over time I think we just like making the simplest thing cumbersome. Why can I register, fill in my details and everything, the complete the data form, and I still have to leave my the comfort of my home and go outside and probably go capture and we're saying want to combat or probably be COVID-19 compliance. And we're still going to, whether you like it or not, people, no matter the social distancing and everything, you're still going to gather a crowd somewhere. Okay. And why you're developing something, a nice innovation, a nice idea. Why don't you just go all the way? All the way. All right. Uh, I don't know if you've been able to reconnect uh, with Festus Okoye. All right, uh, looking at um, all of that, now, there's this um, back and forth, uh, although INEC has a... Uh, all right, uh, Festus, are you still there? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I don't know if you've been following the conversation here in Lagos. Our analysts yes, believe yes, uh, I, the federal government, uh, I I like, uh, is uh, putting I had, hardship and pressure. I had him, yeah, yeah, I had him very well. Uh, it's, it, it has nothing to do with hardship. What the commission mm -hmm. is doing is to comply with the provisions of the law. If you look at Section 10 uh, of the Electoral Act, it says very clearly that each applicant for registration under the Continuous Voters Registration System shall appear in person, shall appear in person at the registration venue with any of the following documents. So, so what we are trying to do is to integrate the uh, 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 electronic or online registration portal and still comply with the law. The law says that you must appear in person. So there is no way the commission will break the law uh, without the law being amended. So that's why we have said you can start your registration online and then complete it uh, 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 physically in order for us to be in tandem with the law. We don't have the right to break the law and we don't have the right to amend the, Constitution, the Electoral Act. All right, we'll still come back to you. I want um, Yemi Saka to react to that. Yeah, um, so far, that's an, that's an interesting and a, a solid defense, but that is not even solid enough because INEC, in its, uh, as, a, as an organization, as an institution responsible for um, registration of voters and election-related matters, can't even start telling the national assembly there's a need to amend the law. If a law, you see, before COVID-19, came, everybody was, you have to, I want to meet with you, blah, blah, you have to come to meet me, but Zoom became the real thing and the end mm. thing. So why don't we just, if these laws are kind of primitive, why don't you amend okay, them? Why don't we just amend them? Okay. Yeah, INEC did not develop the software application that would change this thing in, in, in one week. I have an idea, of, I, have, I have a certificate in software engineering. Okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't come overnight. The architecture, the programming, the coding, so it probably take two, three months because they have to create the firewalls and what have you. Was that not enough time for Heineck to get the National Assembly to amend, even just, even it's only that part of mm -hmm. the Electoral Act? All right, uh, first, okay, I want you to react uh, to what uh, Yemisaka just said, specifically uh, considering the fact that uh, Nigerians need to, you know, not suffer just to get. Uh, registered for elections. Uh, are you working along that line to uh, amend the act so that some Nigerians can actually just uh, do these uh, registrations uh, seamlessly anytime soon? Well, uh, you, you know, as, as an electoral management body and as a creation of the constitution and the law, our uh, responsibility is to make recommendations uh, to the National Assembly or make proposals to the National Assembly uh, relating to aspects of the law 
or aspects of the Constitution we believe uh, we aid uh, the integrity of elections. And we have robustly and comprehensively uh, made proposals to the National Assembly. And the National Assembly uh, has great short, you know, uh, for almost three months, we were working with the Joint Committee of the National Assembly uh, relating to comprehensive amendments of the Electoral Act to impute technology fundamentally and more specifically into the electoral Lego framework. We want to get our smart card readers imputed into the electoral Lego framework. We also want a broad, pow broad powers uh, to enable us deploy the uh, deploy technology as at a when do in the electoral process. And the National Assembly is in tandem with us. Our expectation was that uh, by the uh, by the last quarter, by the, 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 the end of the first quarter of this year, that the electoral act, uh, a new electoral act, will have come into force. Uh, unfortunately. There are still uh, few challenges here and there. And the National Assembly has promised that by June or July, we will have a brand new electoral act, a new electoral framework uh, for the country. So we are working towards that particular direction. I agree with him that building a portal is not a, a one-day event. We, we have been testing different brands and different solutions, electronic solutions, uh, that we aid a seamless voting in the country. And we assure you that... Um, we will continue in this direction because deepening the use of technology in the electoral process is the way to go. And we are working assiduously uh, towards that direction. All right, uh, Mr. OK, can you tell us more? Um, many Nigerians would really want to know because uh, they are still confused, some of them, that is, uh, considering uh, the registration and um, having to present their NINs. Well, uh, you know, the, the Independent National Electoral Commission, um, uh, can you hear me? Um, yes, go ahead. We can hear you. Yes. You see, the Independent National Electoral Commission is a creation of the Constitution and a creation of the law. Now, Section 160 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria uh, gives the Commission very broad powers relating uh, to his powers, relating to his processes, and also relating to his procedures. And he says that these procedures and processes of the commission are not subject to the control or direction of any individual or any authority or anybody. Sec secondly, Section 10 of the Electoral Act 2010, as amended, makes it very, very clear that if you want to register as a voter, there are documents that you must possess he says that you either possess a baptism, a birth certificate, or a baptismal certificate, or a national passport, or a driver's license, or an, an identity card, or any other document that we prove. The prove one, your identity, secondly, your age and your nationality. So these are the documents the law says you can present. Moreover, if you also look at Section 11 of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended, Section 11, Subsection 3, it clearly states that it is the responsibility of the Commission to appoint registration officers. And when these registration officers are appointed, it is only the Commission and no, the commission and no other person, no other authority that can give such a registration officer directives on what to do and what not to do. So the issue of uh, NIN or uh, possession of uh, a national identity number uh, it has nothing to do with voters' registration. Yes, every Nigerian is supposed to obey the law. And if the law says you must possess a national uh, uh, identity number, that is well and fine. But in relation to voters' registration, the law and the constitution has told us what to do. It says you, the only All right. requirement is that you should come before us with something that we showed that we are Nigerian, that we are of, uh, have attained the age of 18, and that um, um, you are resident in the area where you intend to register. And that is all. All right. Uh, just before I let you go, I just want you to clear the air concerning um, um, a number of states. I hear there is a, a consideration with the CVR because they have uh, an election this year. Yes, we, we are going to deploy more equipment uh, to Anambra State uh, for the purposes of uh, voters' registration. And this is because we are going to cut off the voters' registration in Anambra State after a few, uh, a, a few uh, after two months of, of, of commencement. 
to enable us to integrate the supplementary voters register with the voters register and then print uh, the voters cards of uh, the permanent voters cards of the of, of those who have registered and then thereafter we can recommence uh, but we are going to copy it off after some time but we are going to deploy more equipment into anambra state to make sure that all those who have attained the age of 18 uh, get an opportunity right. to register Thank you so much. Uh, indeed, uh, we trust that uh, all of these uh, points that we have uh, made this evening will be taken into account and ensure that Nigerians uh, don't have to struggle or suffer just to get on with um, uh, registration for elections. Thank you once again, uh, Festus Okoye. We'll take this quick report as uh, put together by uh, Osagi Ogbonwa and we'll come so. back and uh, finalize the discussions for today. Stay with us. has set June 28th for the commencement of continuous voters registration. The body had announced the year 2020 to begin continuous voter registration, but failed to commence as promised. The body blamed the COVID-19 pandemic for its failure. The CVR could not recommence in 2020 due largely to the COVID-19 pandemic. In line with the general advice by health officials, Regarding events involving large groups of people, we considered it inauspicious to restart the CVR at the height of the pandemic. Yes, I want to agree with them because of COVID. And we know that with COVID, a whole lot of logistics will be disturbed. And of course, that will have taken them into the first quarter of this year, 2021. The 2019 general elections saw as high as 84 million Nigerians register to vote, and INEC hopes to build on those figures. To improve on the process, INEC plans to make use of online registration portals and expand voter access to polling units. In this regard, the Commission is building a new online registration portal that will enable new registrants to commence registration online and subsequently complete the capture of their biometric data at designated registration centers. Yes, the online thing is my problem because it is not yet legal in Nigeria. There is no legal cover for people to register online, getting their cards online and so on. So I don't think that one will work except if in between now and June 28th, the National Assembly or INEC is able to lobby the National Assembly to pass a law so as to, make, to amend the law to take care of that one. How important is the process and the need for Nigerians to take advantage of the exercise? And of course, the continual voter uh, registration process is a process which is open for people to begin to register gradually. Not that when it is election window that is open, then everybody will now clog the window think, trying to register which will create chaos and confusion. Okay. So to me, I would advise that Nigerians take advantage of this window that is open. I next stated those expected to take advantage of this process to be all Nigerians above 18 who have never been registered, those who have lost their PVCs, and those who want to change their voting locations, amongst others. Osao Gie Ogbonwa, PLOS TV Africa. Open, transparent, and families have the right to know the truth. The system needs to work for the people and not only for the government of those who are in the office. Right now, people are still careful to be publicly identified, and this is why we have not seen anyone come forward on what really happened uh, you know, on that uh, lecky and NSAS shootings and everything. The U.S. could have taken more time before evaluating the situation, even though I'm not in a position to determine the activities of the country's uh, diplomatic officials. Uh, Yemi Saka, thank you so much uh, for being a part of the show. Indeed, it has been one emotional time. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, very, a very emotive topic to discuss, but we, are, we move on. Mm. Indeed, we move on, and that's the size of PLUS Politics for tonight. I am Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for watching. <laughs>